Hello, hey viewers, welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today we're reviewing the Sweet Life on Deck, a London Carol. Now, let's explain what the Sweet Life on Deck is. It's sort of like a continuation or a spin off of the Sweet Life of Jack and Cody, uh, where Jack, Cody, and London go on this uh, the boat. That the uh, dad owns, and that's it. That's the uh, a school as well. And Jack and Cody actually grow up a bit by getting jobs, their voice changing, and, and uh, stuff like this. And introduce some new characters, and so uh, some of the old ones actually come back in it. And uh, Cody actually gets a girlfriend for. A season, then breaks up at the end of the season, and uh, they they go all on world, and in South America, in the credits episode, so it was really hot. And Cody dresses as an elf, and his uh, ex girlfriend Bailey dresses as Santa Claus, tries to raise some toy for the orphans, and they try out at London for some donations, but. Yes, he just cares about getting and giving. And that night, uh, Lona gets visited by her talking mirror. First time to the past when she was about seven, and yeah, so that the reason she just cares about giving because her dad already came to Christmas, and later on when the mirror brings her. God's the past. Like, when it bring, brings her to the to the present, Moby actually mentioned that they used to go down to a soup kitchen to feed the homeless, but yeah, no one got selfish and, uh, and Moby put up the decoration on the tree gets attacked by a squirrel. Yeah. And uh, I'd say the best part has to be when no one goes to the future and sees her elderly self. And uh, to see how lonely she is, and does she feel herself? I think the actress does a good job with the crying scenes. Does she believe that she's uh, that upset? Um, so I think the old the first makeup looks like convinced on her, Jack, Cody, Bailey, and Anna. Um, this kind of hints that Bay and Cody might get back together. So, <laughs> but also hints that. That when their elderly Jack might be living on their couch. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, London sees the air of her ways and just when uh, Cody and Bailey give the toys to the kids, she sort of gives them uh, more toys and then she gives some gifts to everybody else. Most she gives uh, a solid gold tipped in mug. Cody a first plane, first class trip. Uh, uh, to see, her, see his mom, uh, to get the uh, Jack a uh, jetpack, cool. Um, for Betty, she gave her closet back. Yeah. And there's kind of a uh, B plot where uh, Jack Tom trolled to get into the job as a juice bender on time. So, uh, Miss Moby threatens if he doesn't come in at 6 a.m. On Christmas, he's got fire, Jack. Uh, Cody does try to help, but it doesn't work. So either he, Cody, or both set up this uh, the domino system that makes Miss Moby think uh, Zach is on worker time. And does that uh, his play on, on recording and, and, and the mannequin, the managing the, the Zeus bar. Well, yeah. But in the end, uh, Moby finds out and. Yeah, it gets in. Zach's in really big trouble. Mm. Uh, I do think the, the first uh, credit episode for the Speed Life uh, series is a bit better, but it is good as well. When Lord Lord is uh, better to give than, re than to receive. Uh, I think the Talking Mirror has some uh, funny moments. And so London, and as I said, the actress was a uh, good when 
have to be playing in an elderly room of London. Oh, I'm just wondering uh, why didn't that uh, Woody in this uh, new friend for the twins or uh, uh, Zach's girlfriend? <sighs> Maybe they just couldn't think of anything for him to do, but I don't know. Um, also in the episode, uh, Cody and they were bickering a little, but then in the end, they kind of made up. Just for the Christmas spirit, I think, but. Mm. And, uh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not really one I watch like every year, maybe. Uh, there's some good on or whatever, but. Hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, until next time. I'll see you guys later.